How's it going guys? PJ Hu at the School of Earth and Space Exploration here in beautiful Tempe, Arizona, Arizona State University with the NASA Space Grant. Uh, it's just such a nice day outside. I wanted to brag a little bit and show you guys uh, how it's starting to warm up here. So there's an interesting story going around uh, the media and it's probably dropping like a rock at this point because of the fact that so many people just don't understand the, uh, the, the complex um, ideas that are involved regarding this asteroid 2010 SO16 as it is so elegantly designated. Um, these types of asteroids are actually in a, uh, a, a completely low, uh, um, low eccentricity orbit around the sun. They go in one direction and it's almost circular. However, from our standpoint here on an orbiting body that's going around the same object, the sun, um, to us it appears to have this strange horseshoe orbit. Okay, so that's, uh, you know, let's just get that right out right out of the right out of the way this thing is not going in an actual horseshoe orbit around the star um, but from a, from our perspective this seems to be so um, basically I just wanted to clarify uh, what's going on there by the way there are uh, 10 or 11 so far discovered objects these these asteroids are actually um, you know relatively common we've been discovering them for for uh, a couple decades here um, they're called Atira asteroids, or they're actually a subclass of Aiden uh, asteroids. They're inner Earth objects, alternatively. But I like calling them the Apohele asteroids. It's just fun to say. Apohele. Say it with me. Apohele. Very, very good. All right, so. Right. Put on your thinking caps. This is just another perfect uh, uh, um, uh, news story that has been circulating that people just have a difficult time understanding because of um, the ideas involved and also because of the way that the media disseminates this knowledge. It's just um, all they have to do is try and uh, explain it a little bit better, but instead they choose to give the information in a really confusing manner. And I'm not sure what's up with the media doing that, but they seem to do it a lot with science stories and that's why I'm here to help. PJ Who is here to help you here. All right, so all that's happening is um, this object is going, it's sharing an orbit with the planet Earth, which is obviously an orbit around the sun. Um, typical distance is around 1 AU, which is uh, 93 million miles or so. That's the distance from the Earth to the sun. Um, so this object is also sharing that same orbit um, in a very low eccentricity. That means it's, uh, it's very, very circular. But it's a much smaller object than the Earth is. So as it approaches us in its orbit, you know, because it orbits around one year also, as it approaches Earth, um, Earth's gravity just knocks it out of the way. Okay, so as it approaches, it's going to go into a, a farther, a slightly farther um, orbit around the sun. Now what happens is, one of the um, um, things that you should understand is that when an object is closer to uh, another object in its orbit, um, so let's say uh, Mercury is closer to the sun than Earth is, it's going to orbit, it's, it's going to orbit faster. Okay, so when an object is farther away, it's going to orbit slower. So, when the asteroid gets knocked out of its path a little bit by Earth's gravity, it's going to orbit slower. Okay, so it's trying to catch up with Earth, but it just it just can't do it, and Earth passes it up. Now, when Earth catches up to it, it knocks it into an interior orbit. So now it's going faster. So this object is always like 50 times the distance of the moon away from Earth. So it's said to be terraphobic, which I like that a lot because it's scared to be around Earth. So all of these catastrophists out there that are terrified of this object slamming into Earth, this is actually a very, very old object. It's been in a very stable, low eccentricity orbit, uh, uh, sharing an orbit with planet Earth for some time. Maybe a quarter million years, maybe it's been around longer, maybe it has more to do with our planet's um, um, development. At any rate, I just wanted to cut through the media nonsense and give you guys a leg up and discuss this very, very cool asteroid which uh, was discovered last year and only recently was published uh, with ARC. So, Asteroid 2010, SO16. Thanks guys for tuning in. This is PJ Hu, Arizona State. I'm going to go skate. I'll see you guys later. Peace.